multi-shot. It's like one shot, but there's more of it. If one shot was like shooting something one time, then multi-shot would be like shooting a bunch of things, like a shotgun. Multi-shot is like a shotgun. I don't know what multi-shot is. Uh, that's not what this video is about. Do you want multi-shot? Some people want multi-shot. And for those people, this is where you can get it. You go to this post and you download it. If you're like all the cool people, you get the version that plays the Imperial March when you power up. But if you want to be different, there are some other versions. The only difference is that they play a different sound. I'm going to give a try to the fast start one because I like to be different and I don't want the Imperial March to play every time I power up my copter. So I'm going to give the fast start a try and I'm going to show you how to do this and flash it to your ESCs. Let's get started. So go here, then we'll download this zip file. Here is the zip file. Inside the zip file are a bunch of hexes. The next thing you can do is you can start up BL Heli Suite, and it would be a good idea to just check and see what firmware is currently on your ESCs. You will need to plug your ESCs in before you do that. Have your props off, have a current limiting light bulb in hand. I'm serious about the current limiting light bulb this time. You're going to flash a weird firmware to your ESCs, and if you flash the wrong one, you really can smoke something. So definitely have a current limiting light bulb. Yeah, definitely have a current limiting light bulb. So let's see. We've got here, this is the FVT little b 20 amp 14.5 firmware. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that zip file, and I'm going to find that same firmware. Of course, you could take everything out of the zip file, but that would be a lot of things. And you don't need them all because chances are you only have a few kinds of ESCs. Let's make a new one, a new folder here. And we'll call it BLHeli Multi Hex Files. All right. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to find my little b. There we go. FET little b 20 amp. You'll notice there's several different versions of each one. If you're flying a multi-rotor and not a helicopter, you want the multi version. So this is FVT little b 20 amp multi rev 14.5 hex. That is the one for me. Okay, the next thing you're going to do, and it really is this simple, you're just going to flash it the same way you would normally flash. Before you do that, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do this. Save multiple ESC setup to any file. This will save the setup for all four of your ESCs to this any file on your hard drive. And then if for some reason during this flashing, you lose your configuration, you can read the setup from the any file and restore it. So that's a little quick thing you can do before you, just anytime you want to save your config. So I'm going to hit flash BL heli. And normally what you would do is you would pick from this pull down list, the version you were going to flash, but that's not what we're going to do. We are going to go our own way. Thank you, Stevie Nicks. Ignore the list, pick a file. That was Stevie Nicks, right? I think that was Stevie Nicks. Okay, yeah, that was Fleetwood Mac. So that's Stevie Nicks, right? Okay. Okay, okay, great. We're answering the important questions. Yes, that was Stevie Nicks. I'm going to pick the file. Again, just double check that it's the same. FVT little b 20 amp multi bill heli rev 14.5 is what's on there now. And we're going to put on there FB, FVT little b 20 amp multi bill heli rev 14.5. So we're putting the exact same firmware over there. And we're going to flash. Again, this is why you use a smoke stopper light bulb just in case you've done something wrong. Just in case. We would hate to burn an ESC. It's cheap insurance. Okay. Do you want to write the current settings to the ESC? Yes, yes, please. And you're going to keep doing that. By the way, suggestion for the devs. It would be really nice if I've picked a file, if you would remember the file that I picked when I'm doing a multi-ESC flash. A little note for the devs. It would be nice. Okay, there we go. Now just double check that your settings have transferred correctly, and they should. And that should be it. Oh, there we go. Nice, quick little startup tone. So then there's one more thing you need to do, and that is tell CleanFlight that you would, thank you very much, like to use Multishot. 
And you do that by going in the CLI. And now I am multi-shotting. Woo! Oh, gracious. And that, my friends, is why you always use a current limiting light bulb. Woo! Well, something weren't right. <laughs> something were not right. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. <clears throat> I lied. I, I didn't have my props off. But I did have a current limiting light bulb. And that's why I didn't have my props off. So something didn't go right. And I'll troubleshoot that. And I'll troubleshoot that. I just want to do a quick follow-up since after I flashed multi-shot, my motor started trying to spin unexpectedly. And I wanted you to know why that happened and what you can do to make sure that doesn't happen to you. The issue seems to be that the uh, the stop point for multi-shot is a little different than the stop point for one shot. So with one shot, I had min command at 980 and my motors would spin around mm, 985, let's say. There's only about five microseconds of, of dead band at the bottom of the throttle range. So with a min command of 980, the motors would stop, they would start twitching at 985, and they would be spinning fully around 1000 or 1005. With multi-shot, there seems to need more uh, dead band at the bottom of the throttle range. I have lowered my, I have lowered my min command to 950, and now I have no problem. So with min command of 950, if I raise the throttle, the motors start to twitch at 980 and are solidly spinning by around 985. So uh, so that's the issue. If you performed the uh, BL Heli calibration procedure I gave you in a previous video, the one thing that you should do before you upgrade to multi-shot is reduce your min command. You can then rerun the calibration procedure as you see fit. It's the same procedure, but you need to reduce your min command. The number I gave you of 980 may not work for you. The thing is, there's generally no harm in having a low min command. Min command is only applied when you're trying to stop the motors. So a min command of 950 or min command of 930, you know, most of the time, as long as you don't go outside the range of a valid signal, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's low enough to stop the motors, that's all that matters. So something didn't go right, and I'll troubleshoot that. But in general, what I just did should be what you need to do to enable multi-shot. Uh, good luck. Pray for me. Happy flying.